It's, it's okay. You're slightly okay. remedial. It's all right. For you to not know the dragon's fire would not be able to destroy the one ring. I think he's just trying to say lot. that he's not a nerd like the rest of us. Well, then that's his fucking loss. It is. Mm -hmm. Well, then. Welcome back to Warp Reacts. We Ain't Raised Right Podcast. Yeah. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Do it all. We have a Patreon Dude. channel. We'd love you to check that out. It's got exclusive content over there, perks and stuff. We and, the, and the like, such and the like. Uh, we do a live show for free on YouTube every Sunday night at 8.30. For free. For, yeah, free. for free, you say. For free, you say. We fucking work for free. 8.30 Eastern know. time every Sunday. People only do stuff for free when they really, really enjoy what they're doing. It That's really is true. true. That's true. <laughs> that must be us. That's us. Well, I mean, it's huh. we're going to be reacting to a rather uh, well-known artist. Yes. We do that? Not normally. A well-known artist. Yeah. Um, and normally I would say uh, that this is not a butcher's alley, but I have heard there's some bluesy riffs in here, and it might make it work well for him. We're going we're gonna to react to Chris Stapleton. Oh, Tennessee whiskey. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good. Oh, um, mother. That's a good. Why did you make me finish my glass and then you're gonna put shit on about whiskey? Play it. Oh, because I. It's a good. You're evil. It's a good. It's a good. It's oh, a you've good. heard this before, have you, AJ? Oh, oh yeah. I didn't. Wait. It's a good. I haven't listened to country in quite some time. So let's check it out. Pause it for one second. Yeah. Butcher, I'm just going to let you know. I'm going to be watching you this whole song. I'm also going to keep an eye on Butcher. Yeah. Used to spend my nights out in the ballroom. Liquor was the only love I'd known But you rescued me from reaching for the bottom Pause and wrong me Whoever that was, they were wrong What? They shouldn't have stopped the bottle <laughs> oh Why'd you God. say no? Why'd you stop your friend from doing that? Why? Be back You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. And honey, I stay strong. So I'm hearing some of those bluesy elements. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely country, but there's some. De there's definitely some. This is not. It's not. It's not the country that's played on the radio. I can tell no, you. That. No, no, no. Well, I mean, this is on the radio. Well, this okay. is on the radio, but it's nowhere near. It's, it's not, not the poppy stuff. Yeah, it's not the it's poppy. Absolutely stuff. not. I, the I, poppy forget, stuff. I forget. sometimes I don't listen to the radio anymore. Yeah. And part of the reason why neither do I. Poppy country and shit like that. So. Uh, so far, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And also, he has an obsession with his women reminding him of booze. Yes. Thousand percent. All right, here we go. I've looked for love in all the same old places. Found a But when you pulled out your 
heart I didn't waste it Cause there's nothing Like your love To get me high hey. And you're hey. a smooth It's Tennessee whiskey I gotta say, man, I really love that chorus. I just wanna I wanted to clarify it, so I just want to throw this up here real fast. Right. It's gonna take a couple seconds. So Chris Stapleton Stapleton. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anybody cares or watches the CMAs at all or anything. Not anymore. Uh, but they 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 give out awards at the yeah. CMA. Yeah. Um Easy he board. has won male vocalist of the year seven times how is that possible the cma usually usually rewards at least last i paid attention the pop stars uh well i'll look at so the years of 2022 and 2023 uh -huh. have the same four people listed as nominees you have chris stapleton you have luke combs you have morgan wallen and you have cody johnson oh Morgan, uh, Chris Stapleton won it 2023, 2022, 2021. Yeah, so three years in a row he's won it, but he has seven overall. And right. I can say personally, I am a big fan of Luke Combs. Mm -hmm. I am a fan of Cody Johnson, and there are a couple of Morgan Wallen songs that I like. Okay. Uh, that's a pretty tough hand to beat, yeah. in my opinion. So, vocally, be pretty damn good. Well, here we go. there's anything particularly special at least not in this song about chris stapleton's voice um and he wrote those lyrics right those are his lyrics I'm sure yes yeah um the but him going on those runs um and not karen but i mean like obviously be able to maintain a tune mm -hmm. um uh man and I, that was that bluesy feel to it that i like um here's how i envision myself listening to this song sitting around with a couple of 
two or three friends like you guys uh, around a fire pit, bullshitting and talking with each other. Um, whatever, you know, not 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 like a fucking rager or anything. Just three or mm-hmm. two, three of us just sitting around and having that in the background, or mm-hmm. at a bar, the same kind of fucking situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it awesome in the background. Um, I, that sounds insulting, but that's not how I mean it. No, um, not at all. It it just makes me think of good times with mm-hmm. good friends. Mm-hmm. Um, and one other note. If you're drinking American whiskey and it's smooth, find another whiskey. <laughs> Anyways, anybody else? I love this fucking song. I always did. I can tell. It just. I love this fucking song. No, it just. It, I'm with you, man. Calm down. It, it's just a song that you can, like you said, it's just. You can just close your eyes and let it go and right do whatever you need to do and it kind of it's just got it's something to do with his voice but it's just it it's that song can just calm you down and just put you in that state of just yeah. like i'm with you on that you know just even keel like yeah. Yeah. as raged out as you could be that song could come on and it could just drop it right down enough to where it's just and you just go mm-hmm and that's I, that's what I love about that song. What do you think, Butcher? Well, I'll I'll start with uh, I I downloaded it. Oh wow! Immediately, that's a really really cool song. I like it a lot. The blues feel is amazing, and you knew that I would like that. I, well, um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna stop it real quick. I thought that there was a thirty to set thirty seventy percent. Uh, split on whether or not you like it. On the thirty percent side is the side where I thought you would like it, because I mean he doesn't. It it has a country feel too, and we know that he a does bit, like a little bit. But but, but you liked it so much, downloading it. I did. I would not have expected that. That was that point oh one percent, I guess. Yeah. Or you just <laughs> underestimate me. Well, I'm, maybe. At any rate, um, I love the bluesy feel to the song. I could see us sitting at a shitty table in a sawdust floored bar, fucking bar with these yep. guys playing on stage. Yep. Just being a chill fucking scene. Yeah. yeah. I see it. I see it. <coughs> um, but outside of that, it, it no, go ahead. So I just wanted to put a little bit more in there. That's for because, Patreon. Um, <clears throat> he has been winning awards pretty much all over the place since 2016 okay wow um and in the beginnings i'm just gonna for the for you guys to be aware because i am i am a fan of chris okay. stapleton uh 2001 stapleton moved to nashville tennessee perfect place to go sure uh to pursue a music career as a songwriter he signed with publishing house c gale music a deal he sh- got shortly after moving to nashville in 2007, and this might interest one or two of you, in 2007, he became the front man for the Bluegrass group, the Steel Drivers. Okay. So he had some, he had some bluegrass some blue stops in yeah. his history. The Grass Steel stops. Drivers? Because I'm much drivers. more in, interested in bluegrass than country, because it's not the same fucking thing. Yeah, steel drivers, one word, steel drivers. Okay. So he played the Super Bowl recently, too. He rocked yeah, the he Super did. Bowl recently. Yeah. I'm not right talking about anything else other than the fact that he sang that song fantastically. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. He really did. He really did. A little controversy. Um, I, hey, bah, 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 bah. He I sang it. it. I like it. He sang it. I, Fantastic. I like, I like it way more than the color balance on my camera. Um, <laughs> please like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. Uh, please uh, check us out 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time every Sunday. Every it's, Sunday. In the description below, we have the link to the original uh, lyric video or the vocal video that we had up here. Uh, so you should check that out. Listen to it straight through. Help support the artist. Um, 
as well as helping to support us. And uh, check us out on Patreon. We've got some exclusive content there. Um, and We might talk about Ogre's color balance. That, that's entirely possible. Anyways, thank or you so much. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. I'm, I'm not a crook.